Well, I've known my next guest for more years and neither one of us care to remember it. And as long as he doesn't mention the 1989 grand final, we'll get along just well because, to popular belief, at times, given a good reason, Balmain boys do cry. So, with that, I'm now joined by Frank O'Sullivan. Well, Frank, as I mentioned, Balmain boys do cry. I still think there's a tear or two. Believe it or not, I still haven't watched a replay of that grand final. Great game from Raiders. Great game. My cousin played in that game, Chrissy O'Sullivan, yep. Yeah, you just mentioned that. It was a wonderful game and will go down in the history books as being one of the great grand finals. Yes, it was too, yeah. We watched it. We were very proud of Chrissy. you know. He'd been from um, the Raiders from day one and it was just fitting that he um, won a couple of grand finals. No doubt, Frank, you're still following the uh, green machine? Yeah, yeah, I watch them every week. Yeah, and a lot of people follow them in Canberra. They're very popular if you have a look at the crowds they get there, yep. How do you go with the Viking clap? Oh, yeah, I've been there a few times. My young bloke goes pretty regular. Yeah, well, we go with him, yeah, I've got to put up with it, yeah. And good to see you also. There's uh, a number of them involved in harness racing, no more so than Jared Croker. Yeah, he goes really good. He's uh, he's um, put a lot of money into it, and he loves it, you know, and loves the punt also, yeah. 1882, the suburb of Hall in the Canberra region was born, and it's just gone from strength to strength from that particular point, and you're a very proud resident of that particular beautiful part of the world. Yeah, I live out at Hall. I live on a farm down towards the river where all the wineries are. And we go into Hall a fair bit. I do a bit of work in there. I'm an electrician, so yeah, it's good. As far as Hall is concerned, too, one of the very popular uh, times of the year is the Hall marks. Unfortunately, COVID has put a little bit of a dampener on that, but no doubt it will uh, continue to grow in strength. Yeah, we've got the Hall markets there every month. And we've also got a, a pub there at the, at the moment called Hobbs and Vines. It's a winery. If you ever want to come out and try some really good beer, go to there. Yep. Well, I'm not a beer drinker, but I don't mind the odd wine or two, so you may be able to encourage me in that department. Well, we make the best wines down our road, they tell me. Um, a guy that worked for me, he's a winemaker down there, and he won Winemaker of the Year, so he goes pretty good. Now, Frank, you were raised close to the Canberra Showgrounds, and on the family property you had a number of horses. Uh, yeah, we lived up at Watson, which is um, just this side of the trotting track, and I reckon most of the trotters were trained at our place, yep. And what type of horses? You also had the gallops there as well? Uh, my dad had a lot of gallopers and he had a personal trainer and jockeys and all that sort of stuff. So um, uh, the trotters and the gallopers mixed in pretty good. As you said, you're now an electrician. You were an apprentice electrician, but you also were starting to get involved in harness racing despite, despite the fact that it wasn't high on your uh, priority list. No, not really. I, I became an electrician with a guy from Don Hagen. He was he was a, had a horse up at our place and um, he, i became become an electrician with him, apprentice, and then he said to me that... Um, uh, one day, do you want to go and work my trotter, which was a pretty good horse, and I went and worked it, and I just got one eventually, and away I went, yep. And how long have you been involved in harness racing, Frank? Oh, probably when I was 18, I probably got into the harness racing. My brother was in it pretty well, Johnny, and um, he he married a trotting Leslie Cook from, from Young, so yeah, we started off there, yeah. One thing you love to do, Frank, is to visit all the different country areas. In particular, you were very pleased to see the 2018 Bigger Showgrounds back up and running. Yeah, yeah, I always wanted to go down there. Um, the older guys, John and the rest of them, used to go down years ago. And a lot of the real good trainers that were in Canberra come from Bigger, basically most of the good trainers, yeah. A horse by the name of Buck 50. We put a very big smile on your face. He was a good horse. I brought him from, um, he came from Bigger originally. I brought him in Canberra for a guy called Ronnie Hart. And he was a great horse for me, yep. Ugara, Coolamon Orange, just to name a few of those tracks, and you've had a success at all of them, including your home track at Canberra. Yeah, yeah, they've been very good to me. I like those um, feature races, like um, Canola Cups, very good race. Um, I thought um, Orange, the Banjo Patterson, probably as good as track as you've been on for a little track, yep. And Frank, you had the great honour of winning the Canberra Cup back-to-back -back with a horse by the name of Jailbird. Yeah, he was, a, he was a good horse, just a great race horse, you know. He had all the ticks, you know, get off the gate, he get out of the stand, yeah, and he great, great to drive. Yeah, he was a good horse to me, yeah. Frank, you've had a lot of great horses under your care for a number of years, man to man, also maroon, just to name two. Any others that stand out? Um, Polo Greed, he was a pretty good horse. I sold him to Chris Robbo. He won about 250000 bucks as a baby and died, so he was a good horse. Um, lots of horses come through the stables, yeah. Usually pass them on a bit, yeah. Chime Bay? Chime Bay, very good horse. Yeah, brought him in the River Arena, brought him a tour tomorrow one night. Yeah, he went on to beat Paleface and that. He was a class act, yep. So in the likes of Geldof, ACT, look sharp, Albert Einstein, Franco de Gordon, the horse you have here today, Baby It's Cold. Baby It's Cold, yeah, funny little mare, goes good. She's out of that pretty in pink family. Um, yeah, 
comes and goes a bit, you know. But uh, but today the best one was that Miss X win the two roll. She's one of ours from home. Yep. You've had a lot of success with David Thorne bringing horses up, including uh, Baby is Cold. Baby is Cold come here as a baby. He's very good with the fillies, David. So you know you've got to go where you did. But also Jared Elchin had a lot of lot of lot of faith in Jared. You know he gets them going good. He had baby, he had Miss X before David. We just thought he's had a lot of two rolls at the moment. But the next one will probably go to Jared. Yeah. And you're still driving? Yeah, I'll drive them. The problem is the juniors get these horses, they're 68 classes. They've got to put the juniors on them to get them to win a race here. Yeah. It's good to see the country regions thriving, Frank, and despite the COVID, we've still managed to thrive in all those particular areas. I went to um, Wagga the other week and I thought it was the best day I've had for a long time during the week for the heats. Yeah, it was really good. Well, Frank, it's good to catch up once again. We won't go mentioning other, the, the 1989 grand final. That's now well and truly behind us. I've probably got a tape of it at home. I'll send it up to you. Okay. Well, well it's funny enough, Frank, I was with the likes of Steve Roach, Kerry Hemsley, Gary Jack and Benny Elias uh, last week, and it's, 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 it still hurts. Yeah, it does hurt them.